I'm the kind of person who thinks that all spaces have potential. But with this one, it is going to be a big challenge. Talking of that, I'm pushing myself to do a 36-hour revamp and transform this space in a beautiful jewelry show. So let's jump right into it. Let's go! Here's a space before, a tiny office that the owner of this online jewelry store turned into a showroom. She's about to celebrate her first year into the space and she asked me to give it a makeover that truly reflects her brand. First, I'm turning the main area into a proper showroom with wall-to-wall -wall shelves for all her jewelry. Next, I'm relocating the office and transform it into a sleek cash counter with a stylish wood finish. Lastly, I'm setting up a packing station and hiding it behind a partition wall that doubles as a hat display. Good morning, we are day one of the project and today we are going to start with the flooring. The one that they uh, have right now is really stained, old and disgusting, so that needed to be addressed. I'm going to uh, use those stick and peel little tile here and I'm going to add some liquid nails just to make sure that it's well sticked and nothing is going to peel off next week. So all the floor in the entryway is over, look at this, and when you come into the store, it's right here, and it's all flowing together, and the floor is completed here also. I'm closing off, it's 5.30, started at 10, so it's been eight hour and a half. If my mat are matting, it's possible that it's not matting, but I mean, it's all right. So I'm closing the day for today. See you tomorrow. Good morning, we are back for day two of Whatnot's transformation and yesterday was a pretty good first day and now we have a big day in front of us. So the first thing I'm going to do is to address this mess right here. I'm feeling better already. Okay, yeah, this going to work. Whew. Sunglasses off, installing this bad boy. Woohoo! Okay. Now I need the wood to arrive. Look at this. Pretty thing. Cute. We're cute. This is a success. First delivery just arrived. I receive the most important thing, which are the brackets for the shelving. So the wood is not here yet, but I'm going to uh, use this uh, two by four that was on site to level all the brackets. And I'm going to uh, just take that time, that free time without any material to install those brackets. So when the wood is here i'm going to cut it to size and it's going to be really straightforward Perfect. 
The delivery is not there yet, so I'm going to do that task that I didn't want to do at all today, but I need to paint those. I have two like that. Those are going to be bench uh, for the store. And I bought some black, black paint and I'm going to cover those. Working in Barbados is also not receiving the thing on the day that you're supposed to. So I haven't received all the wood I was supposed to. Um, I'm kind of pissed, to be honest. But I was able to prepare everything for where the wood is coming. So once the wood is cut to size, I'm going to be able to just put it on the bracket so yeah the it's 4 30 right now i'm going to uh try to wrap everything up during the next 30 minutes uh just to be sure that i'm over at five i'm retired good morning this is day three on site. I'm super excited. Uh, I just went to the place where I ordered the material from and they confirm it is going to be delivered today. So hopefully it's actually being delivered this morning. It would be perfect. Once uh, the wood arrive, I have access to a workshop and uh, I'm going to be able to cut every, everything. I have all the dimension, all the, the measurement I need and it's going to be really fast. And since the brackets are already there, it is going to be screw and everything is going to be installed. So I'm going to start my day and keep you posted. Okay, bye. <laughs> Just watching as the years go by, a little bit older now. Sure, now we're going out of style. Something will turn great. Already cut uh, the, the four pieces that are going at the top, so I'll start with those ones for the installation. And I'll finish with the larger one because it's going to be heavy. long piece of wood coming in the way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna need to be athletic. Oh my god, so heavy! Okay! Woo! So nice. So here's how it's going to look. So one panel on the side just to hide the desk. The other side is going to be covered as well, like that. Oh, I love when my vision is coming to life like that. It's so nice. Great. Well done. The two of us collecting dust. Yeah, that's enough. As long as it's you, we'll be just fine. We age like one. Such a beautiful life. As long as it's you. That's a big victory. The partition wall is now installed and I have those little uh, hangers here that are going to be used to install uh, all the hats. 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh, so nice. So, so nice. I'm closing the shop. But I need to show you what I was able to do and I'm so, so, so happy. It looks 100% better already. So, yeah, let me show you and do you a quick tour. Coming from the outside, we are oh, in the shop. So, I did this little ply um, desk to hide this here little partition wall with all the hats packing station right there so convenient for them inventory and stuff perfect small desk that is hidden here at the back and all the shelving oh my god it's so pretty uh, the table is not staying there I could not lift that alone, so they are going to put it away. But look at this beautiful shelving! I did a pretty long day. I started this morning at 8.30, left home at 8.30 and it's now, what time is it? It's like 7 or something. So, whew, that was a big day. I'm hungry and I'm super happy, full of joy. So I'll see you next weekend, probably. See you soon. Good morning, friends. It's been two weeks already since I last filmed in this space. And the next two days that we have are going to be really condensed, really intense. And hear how it's going to go. This morning, I want to start by sanding all the shelf and putting um, an overglaze on top of it just to protect the wood. So this is why I want to sand uh, the front of the shelving. I just want to make sure that this is rounded so nobody is hurting themselves. So let's start by taking off everything on top of the shell and let's start sanding.